Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to do some CompTIA A plus questions. Obviously, if you do my channel, know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today we're going to go over some A plus questions. I am going to share my screen and we're going to go over some questions together. Okay. Let me share my screen. Screen three. All right. So we are doing Zoho security security setting quiz is what we're doing so it's like basically wi-fi uh wi-fi or networking questions for the a plus exam all right question number one because wireless routers are, are shipped with d4 credentials the process of securing a soho network should include changing the default path username and password on a wireless access point true or false this is true by default if you go and get a router from like your service provider your isp typically it has a password sticker label on it like my router right here you know i'm sharing my screen but like if you guys can see my camera usually like verizon or whatever they have like a default password so you it's recommended that you change it for security reasons next question uh what type of network traffic filtering criteria can be set on the on a router filtering by ip address filtering by network protocol filtering by subnet Filtering by logical port number or all of the above. So a router does this, a router does this, a router does this and this. So I'm going to say all of the above is the answer for this one. It actually, a router has a capability to do all these things that are listed here. So we'll go to the next one. Which of the answers listed below refers to an application software that selectively, that selectively blocks access to websites? So we have Captive Portal. We have firewall, we have content filter, and we have proxy server. So the answer for that one is going to be content filter. So you're blocking certain things from content filtering, like gambling, um, things that are not necessarily needed. So it's, this is an example of that, like Facebook, if I'm blocking Facebook or YouTube, or whatever, you could do that. You could block certain websites on the back end. So that's going to be the answer for this one. Uh, next one. Which of the following answers refers to an example of content filtering configuration setting on a Soho router? So you have mode to mode, parental control, Mac filtering, IP and port filtering. So this one is going to be parental control. You actually have that. You could set that up on your on your machine or on your um, router. You could set up parental controls on it. And you can block certain things with that. So it's actually a setting. You could do that. You could try that out, actually. Uh, let's go to the next question. The term unified threat management refers to a network security solution commonly in the form of a dedicated device called UT, UTM appliance or web security gateway, which combines the functionality of a firewall with additional features such as UR filtering, content ins inspection, spam filtering, gateway antivirus protection, IDS slash IPS function or malware expansion. True or false? It's going to be true. An opt optimal wireless access point antenna placement provides a countermeasure against what? This is going to be war driving. And war driving is um, an access point that involves using a vehicle to scan for potential vulnerabilities in wireless local networks. So that's the, that's the reason why that would be the answer, if that makes sense. All right. Next question. Which of the of the WAP or WAP settings listed below allows for adjusting the, the boundary range of wireless signals? Um, this one is going to be uh, power level controls. And we have radio channel, WPS setup. Beacon interrupt. I mean, like, you just got to select their best answer. So it's going to be power level controls for this one. All right. A, a DHCP server IP exclusion configuration option allows network administrators to remove a single IP address or a range of IP addresses from a pool of addresses being assigned automatically to the requested DHCP client computer. Yep, that, that is... This is so far, so far, so, so far, so true. This is true so far. 
Uh, IP exclusion prevents other DHCP clients from requesting an IP statistically, uh, sorry, st statically assigned to other essential network hosts, servers, or wireless printers. True or false? This is true. This is 100% true. Um, this is, uh, this is questions. A type of error culture that simplifies networking by allowing devices to dynamically join a network, auto configure, and learn about the presence and capabilities of other devices is known as PoE. This is power over internet, DHCP, dynamic host configuration protocol, uh, SDN, and UPnP. So for me, the answer is going to be UPnP. And this is uh, universal plug and play. Is the, is the This is what this means. So that's going to be the answer for this one. Which of the following answers refers to the concept of zero configuration networking? <clears throat> so again, this is going to be universal plug and play again. You don't got to do anything. You just plug it in and it, it just works automatically. That's basically what this means. Um, examples of technologies that should not be used due to their known vulnerabilities or other security risks include what? Select two. So obviously WEP is not secure. Um, that's that's a that's going to be a security risk, and then RDP can, can you can actually uh, allow and deny certain people from connecting to it. Or this is secure. Uninterrupted plug and play again. I'm going to select that one. TOS does have security, and SM SNMP does have security. So it's going to be these two right here. A lightly protected subnet, aka a DMZ, consisting of public, publicly available servers placed on the outside of the company's firewall is called what? So it's going to be screen subnet. And screen subnet is a network error culture that isolates a network segment between an intern, internal network and external network, enhancing security by controlling access to public facing servers. What That's what that means. So I, I was looking at the definition of it online. So basically you're like separating the networks. So that's that's what that is. All right. Go to the next one. Service set identifier or your SSID is a unique identifier, aka wireless network name. Yep. So far so good for when. Yep. Uh wireless networks advertise their presence by a regular broadcasting SSID in a special packet called Beacon frame and wireless networks with this with disabled security features. Knowing the network SSD is enough to get access to the network. SSID also pinpoints the wireless router that acts as a wireless access point. Wireless routers from the same manufacturer are frequently configured with default well-known SSID names. That's correct. Since multiple devices with the same SSID display on the list of available networks create confusion and encourage accidental access by unauthorized users. Applies to networks that lack security. Changing the default SSID is a recommended practice. True or false? This is true. You see some network admins, they will, they'll change the SSID to the, the to the company brand name. Like, say, for example, if a company is called Blackstone or whatever, it'll be like Blackstone 2.0 or Blackstone Wi-Fi network or Blackstone Guest Network. That's basically, they're just, they just change the default SSID name to something else. Or they just block it all together where you can't even, you, the SSID is not even publicized, it's blocked. So this, this and it goes, actually goes to this question. Disabling SSID broadcast, what does it do? What are the benefits of it? So actually it prevents wireless clients from accessing the network. That's the reason why you would you would select this one. That's the reason why you would do this one. That's the right answer. Um, for a wireless client to be able to connect to a network, the security type, WEAP, WPA, WPA2, WPA3, an encryption type TKIP or AES security settings, sorry, on the connecting host must, must match the corresponding wireless security settings on the wireless access point. True or false? This is true. A type of wireless network that provides access to the internet but not to the internal network is referred to as a guest Wi-Fi network. Setting up a separate network for visitors, visitors handled by a D Dedicated access points protects the internal network against risk related to unauthorized activities and malware infections. True or false? This is true. In the context of implementing secure network 
designs, the term port security may apply to what? Disabling physical ports on the device, implementing MAC filtering, disabling unused logical ports. So far, all three, all these three are correct. Implementing port-based network access control. Yeah, so this is all the above. This, this, this is going to be all the above for this one. Um, port mirroring allows an administrator to inspect traffic passing through a network switch. On a switch that supports port mirroring, a pa packet analyzer can be connected to an empty port, and the switch can be configured to a to pass a copy of the data sent over one or multiple ports on that switch to the packet sniffer port, allowing the administrator to monitor contents of the traffic passing through the switch. True or false? This is true. All right. Got that one right. We got that one right. We got that one right. Parental controls, got that one right. I, mean, I, 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 I could show you how to do this. I could log into my router and show you that there's, a, there's an option to do this, but I'm, I'm not going to show that today. Uh, we're driving. Power level controls, true. This is correct. It's universal plug and play, universal plug and play, universal plug and play, WEP. Um, screen subnet, true. Um, okay, I got that one wrong. I clicked on the wrong answer for that one, which is fine. Makes Wi-Fi harder to discover. Yeah, I got this wrong. This is this is because yeah, the, the answer is going to be this one for my bad. Um, yeah, it makes the wireless wire, uh, wireless local area network harder to discover because it's not going to be on network because you just disable it. So that's the answer for that one is that one, which is fine. True, true, all the above, true. Eh, I just got one wrong. I, I kind of I, I messed up on that one. This is fine. But you see, I make mistakes too. But anyway, hopefully this video helps you out if you're studying the A+. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.